there have been a couple of minor but very useful enhancements to the block form. The first of these is the ability to ignore or consider the reference model when calculating the overall block dimensions. If we take a look at this example on the screen, you can see we have a, a single blade type part and we also have a reference surface which is used to machine the root region of the blade. This reference surface is actually being read in as a reference model. So PAML knows to automatically ignore that reference model for any toolpath calculation <coughs> calculations. In previous versions of PAML, PAML 2010 and earlier, uh, when we calculated the block, PAML considered every surface in the part for the block calculation including the reference models which typically was not desirable. So in this version we've added a simple option to the block form to either include the reference surfaces in the calculation or to ignore the reference surfaces in the calculation. So if we leave it switched on for the moment and we just calculate the block you can see that the block is much bigger than the actual part we want to machine and is created to the extremities of the reference model. So this is the behavior we would get in 2010 and the only way around that would be to select the whole model, ignore the reference surface and then do a recalculate. Okay, And then we get the correct size. But now all we have to simply do is switch off, include reference surface, calculate and it gives us the exact size we're after. The other new feature on the block form is the ability to save or export the block as either an STL file or a DMT file. So I'm going to go ahead and create a arbitrary block um, shape. To do that, I'm going to use a silhouette boundary which I have pre-created, so it's just an offset, an offset of the silhouette of the shape. So we're going to select define our block by boundary and then calculate to get the extents in Z. So there we have our arbitrary block, and then there's a new option to save the block out as either an STL or a DMT. Accept that. If we now delete our block and read the block in via triangles, I can load that block back in that 